of this pen battle to 4,000. Took it out fishing. Had this euro for a few years. Seems a lot of, you know, cosmetic damage. Still worked great functionally, but took it out and I felt like it was skipping. So Joe actually hooked this big Vecin Ono on this reel and I watched him struggle and battle for a good 20 minutes trying to fight it with the reel skipping the whole time so let's take it apart find out what the problem is start off with loosening the drag all the way take it off make sure it's all properly greased so that it's clean let me take off the spool Check all the insides of the gear, make sure it's all clean, properly greased. So take off the handle, you're gonna reverse, reverse the spin. So far I check in the handle too is, over here it gets sometimes, if you don't want, rinse it out good, it gets caked up. So I usually drop Crojan X lubricate it, wire brush it, and then uh, wipe it down with tourmaline. Because over here it could seize up. I'm gonna loosen and take off this gear. So this seems to spin fine. Gotta dig a little deeper and see what's underneath here to find uh, the actual problem. So there's three screws here and there's one more screw here. This is a little bit shorter than the rest. And this pops off. And then you gotta work this guy out. Just like that. So this is what the inside of the reel looks like. There's a lot of gears. Um, there's a bearing and a washer that comes off from here and then initially you can see, I could see already that the teeth are missing on top of this gear which is causing the skip so when you're so when you're reeling on the reel this gear turns your spool so when you're reeling it winds your spool. So with missing teeth on here, that's why when I'm reeling, it feels like it skips and then reels and skips and then reels. So to take that apart is pretty easy. There's a screw right here. You just take that off. It's important to remember all where the screws go because you have to put it back in the exact same spot. So that take it off. That screw holds down this shaft that drives the spool. So that since the shaft can come up now, this can pull out. So as you can see the teeth and where it's missing. I found that I looked up the part online, uh, put the link in the bio. The part is about five bucks, shipping is about five bucks, so I ordered it, I wait for it to come in to do the repair. It's a lot cheaper than buying a whole new reel. In the meantime, since the, the teeth was broken in here, you wanna make sure inside here there's no teeth broken or build up or anything getting kicked up anywhere that will cause grinding of other parts so I went ahead and uh, cleaned everything else out all right so finally months of waiting I got the part in for the pen battle I was working on so I ordered it once through this uh, site e-replacement parts and um, they're kind of just taking too long I didn't even get the part in so I went to 
pan fishing and I was able to find the parts on the drawing and because of COVID-19 they're not at the warehouse shipping out parts so I ordered it through Mystic Parts I'll drop the link in where I got it it's the main um, gear and now I'm gonna go ahead put it back together and see hopefully it works hopefully no other problems I we'll have to remove the, just move the shaft out the way so I can drop back in the the new gear. And then where to put that screw over right there? Screw the shaft back in. Looks like it fits good. Looks like it's the right size. And oh, look at that, it's been, it's been smoothly, I can see the gear turning, so I'm just going to work on assembling everything back together. And we're back. Just like anything that touches the ocean, one thing breaks, another thing breaks. So what happened was my real handle didn't fit well with the new gear part that I ordered. So I ordered a new handle. And now I'm gonna try reassemble and see how everything works. So these guys at Mystic Parts are pretty awesome. I ordered this handle last week and it came in already. Fast. They have almost all the parts for almost every reel, pen and Shimano. Um, I or originally ordered from the pen warehouse, but due to COVID, the warehouse wasn't shipping out any parts, so I ordered from Mystic Parts. So here's the handle. Like I said, these guys are really awesome. So like I was saying, I ordered, oh, I changed that main gear on top of this reel. And when I put in the original handle, it just didn't seat well. And I could feel the re restriction. I don't know if it could have been the thread count. Um, it could have been a number of things, but it just didn't sit well. I didn't want to force it because I don't want to break anything else. So I ordered a new handle, and let's see. The other one I tossed, cause I was just kind of mad already, frustrated. And would you look at that? Nice and smooth. So now that that's taken care of, all I have left is the spool. And put it on the spool, testing it dry. And once this works, I'll be ready to put it back in action. It's been down for a couple months, I think, already. And I'm going to use this reel for my Opelo fishing. And look at that. Back in action. So, this is a basic tutorial of just, you know, taking apart your reel and putting it back together the way you found it, trying to find problems, what's wrong with it. And trying not to create new problems. Now I got this reel ready to go. Catch some fish. Till next time. Dive safe. Aloha. If this video was helpful, hit that like button. And let me know in the comments of what else that I need to check or work on when inspecting any reels. Until next time. Aloha. I think so. Oh yeah. Drag type two. Call it. Let's see what it is. Um. Nah. I can grab one. What's oh, a good size one? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Oh.